All right, one of the first things you guys are gonna to wanna to do is set up your router to receive the connection from your camera. So um, I happen to have an Apple time capsule here. So you go to utilities, airport utilities, um, and select your router and go add it like a printer, add WPS printer. And then you could um, either do two options here, pin or first attempt, I did the pin, and you'll see why. And then um, you'll go to your camera. All right, you go to your camera, you go to your setup, you go to connections, settings, and then go to network setting. And then um, what I did is, I personally did is I assigned an IP address, but for your first time, you're gonna go to wireless, access point setting, and go to simple setup. And this is gonna take a little bit. And then what you do is you choose connect by pin code. And you hit the arrow button up, and then it gives you a pin code. And that pin code is what you're gonna put on the computer under the uh, routing settings. So I'm here, I'm gonna enter the pin code that the camera gave me, which is 775. Nine nine three one five. Obviously, you guys are gonna probably have a different camera uh, pin code. So then it's configuring. You get this kind of uh, message. Again, this is a Apple router. You might have a different one, and your message is gonna display differently. But um, what you could do too is gonna tell you your MAC address um, for the camera, and it's gonna say digital camera device. And um, what I understand about the specifications is it has to connect to the 2.5 gigs. It's not gonna connect to 5G, um, even though there's an address there, but um, that's what I understand. I may be wrong. So once you're there, you're fine. All right, once you finish installing, you wanna turn this on. And you do have to realize that this is not an actual window that pops up. It's a utility that comes up on your progress bar. Um, for Windows, I don't know how it's gonna come up, but it is kind of like muted and it says no camera. Um, that's fine. So once you turn on your camera and I'll go that to the setting, it's gonna turn to a different color and I'll show you what, what next steps are in the camera right now. All right, now, now your camera is um, set up to connect wirelessly. Go to settings. Connection settings. Now you're gonna go to PC connection and you're gonna choose wireless feather shooting fixed. Okay, and what you're gonna see is you're gonna see this red light blink or orange, sorry, looks red on the screen. And then it turns your camera settings turn, you can see through the viewfinder and it turns green blinking, meaning there is an actual connection and on the computer. And once you go to your computer, you're gonna see that there's a connection now. And what you wanna do is set this up. You wanna set up your destination folder. And I already have my set up for this, but um, I have it set up. And what it does, that's where it's gonna drop the file. And also, you wanna make sure your settings are set properly, that you have to look for a USB and a network connection. I used to use a tethering through a USB cable. Um, the cable got in the way and that's why I started using this method. But this is where you actually want to assign a, a, if you have access to your router and you know how to do it, this is where you match up your IP address. Um, also, um, you set up your file types and then um, any uh, additional um, software that you want to link up once that file hits that folder, it'll be opened up with um, a specific program here. But the way I have it set up is um, all I do is drag this folder into um, Bridge and then use it from there once it sets up. And now I'm gonna conduct a speed test and also a verification um, method of knowing if your camera is connected. So once you went through the settings and you set it up and you're ready to start shooting, you turn it on and um, this light is gonna be, it looks orange or red, but we'll call it orange, okay? 
I'll be blinking and what it's doing is trying to um, connect to the Wi-Fi and once you get that you start getting a green light and then your your screen clears and don't forget that you need to go and make sure that your PC your connection is set to wireless tethering okay that that setting never changes when you turn off the camera or whatnot so what I'm gonna do is take a picture and so you guys to see how fast it does the transfer okay so I'm gonna shoot and the red blinking indicates it's transferring and this is my hot folder and I'm just gonna leave it here and let you guys see how fast it is and again this might not work for everybody it works for me and allows my workflow on the actual setup of the photo shoot to be a little bit more productive and have more control versus working with a wired setup it just gets in the way and there you go transfer complete and then your green light is blinking again and there you have it